Where is Dr. Tom at? I thought he was supposed to... Wait. What's this note say? The note? Oh, I'm live. Oh. Hi, folks. Welcome again to the, to the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling show. I still have to figure out a better name for that. Um, I have no idea what's going on right now. Here And today we were supposed to have... Dr. Tom on, but instead I got this note from him. It says, you listen to me, you fat bastard hobo Tom. Not nice. I know you cannot make the whole wrestling event. Because you have to go to your plebeian job. So therefore, under said contractual circumstances, I will not be doing the predictions of your bottom feeding. Fifth tier wrestling YouTube show that obvious applies to the lowest common denominator of wrestling fan? Did he insult me? We're not fifth tier. We're fourth tier. But again, um, he cannot make it. So, and again, I do apologize. I do have to work tomorrow. Maybe that's what. Upset. And I won't be able to get the whole show in, but I'll be able to do most of it. I'll probably start my show probably about eight o'clock. I know I'm just making breakfast burritos, so thankfully they're kind of a stick in the oven and forget until they're ready. Option. To eat instead of having a more much more complex breakfast. Well, that's right, I have to get in my kitchen too. So these are my predictions. Predictions. <clears throat> Here, so there are rumors that there's gonna be a a raw tag team champion. Title defense on the pre show. I don't know, there are rumors. I'm not even putting that here. Yeah, our first match, which probably will be on the pre show, they're notorious for doing this, is for the cruiserweight. You have Buddy Murphy versus Akira Tozawa. I don't see Akira Tozawa winning the belt. Buddy Murphy's going to hold that belt probably for a while. Until they can get some new cruiserweights in. Well, what makes... I don't think they, they're going to move Buddy Murphy up. You know what? I'm going to say Buddy Murphy will retain his... Because that and I haven't seen 205 Live in a while. I haven't seen a lot of wrestling. I've been working on weekends. That sucks. I missed the Sanford show. Gonna miss the Daytona Beach show. St. Augustine's too far away. Hey, was that today? I don't know. Could have gone to that. That's okay. And it probably won't be until March when I get to another show and put some more semi live videos on. So I, I do apologize for that. It's my work schedule. I might be a transitional worker soon. I have on Monday. I have a lot of stuff to do. Shoot. And the races are here in town. Maybe that's why you didn't want. To. Maybe that's why Doctor Tom didn't want to show up. He doesn't like NASCAR fans. I'm not a big fan of NASCAR fans either. The only good thing NASCAR fans do for me. Because they are slovenly drunks that leave me a lot of aluminum in parking lot. 
and it's really easy to collect and you can make actually a quick couple of bucks just off these idiot drunk hillbilly NASCAR fans. That's a whole other rant to though. And then we're going to have Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin. Braun Strowman, this has to be the end of this feud. I'm going to say Braun Strowman is going to go over. And that match, how's that, how's that match going to be? I know I have my match of the night. What's that? I'm going to say this is a news of the night. This is the match that I'll probably miss and I could live with that. Again, I'll always post at least who wins. Maybe not my reaction. And then you have The Miz and Shane McMahon versus The Usos. This is not going as smooth as I thought it would. Where's I, I miss Dr. Tom. Darn it. The Miz and Shane McMahon are going to retain the titles. There's no way the Usos are winning. They're not rewarding Jimmy Uso for, for I think he was charged with, I think, just public intoxication. It wasn't anything major. I think, oh, if you did not hear, it's a little bit about the news. Um, Jimmy Uso got arrested the past week. I know this is old news. Probably everyone's heard this. Um, his wife, Naomi, and Naomi did absolutely nothing wrong. At least nothing really, really bad wrong. Um, Jimmy Uso was arrested. He was intoxicated. He squared up to a police officer and then realized who it was probably once the police officer brought, brought the taser and said, listen, calm down. Tranquilo. <laughs> That'd be funny if the police officer recognized him. He said, yo, Tranquilo. But I think Naomi was given just a traffic violation. Again, going the wrong way down a one-way street, it can be confusing. And technically, it is a traffic violation. That's so minor. I know Jimmy Uso posted bail through a bondsman. And I want to say the difference between bail and bond. Someone can post bail for you. And a bondsman can post bail. I can post bail for a friend. Maybe. But a bondsman, I want to say, takes in some kind of collateral plus 10%. And if you don't bond, you lose your bond, you have bounty hunters go after you. Whereas if I post bail and you skip out, I'm screwed. So it's a little bit of the technical issue there. I know someone asked a question on some other podcast. That's kind of the way it works. A bondsman can post bail and it's a, it's a bonded bail. A private citizen can post bail and it's, it's just different than a bond. It's minor stuff. But it wasn't anything terrible happened. Still, the WWE is going to be like, tisk tisk. So, Miz and Shane are going over. Dr. Tom doesn't bring more energy to the show. That'll be an okay match. Um, Ronda Rousey versus Ruby Riot. Rousey's keeping that title. Ruby, Ruby Riot, Heidi Lovelace. You know, I really can't root for her anymore because she actually told me Heidi Lovelace was her cousin. No, it does not go over well with me. Ronda Rousey will win. She'll, because Fastlane is in March. And then 
WrestleMania is in April. Yeah, Rousey's not losing that title. What title's going to switch hands? You know what? This one might. You know what? LaRonda Rousey retain your title. That is also going to be my Stone Cold Lock. Then you have Bobby Lashley versus Finn Balor for the IC belt. The tall. Finn Balor stood tall and won a couple threat match. The math says Finn Balor is going to lose. I think, however, it would be more interesting and a little bit more money match for Finn Balor to win, carry on the feud to WrestleMania with Bobby Lash, retain in grand form as Demon Balor at WrestleMania. So I'll say Finn Balor. Then we have the women's elimination match. Um, Nia Jax and Tamina versus the I I Iconics of Peyton Royce and Billy Kay versus a riot squad who's going to be led by Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. I got a name for a second. Versus Mandy Rose and Boo Sonya Deville versus Sasha Banks. And Bailey versus Naomi and Carmella. Naomi and Carmella are and Carmella are not winning. Scratch them off the list. The iconics are not winning. Scratch them off the list. Nia Jackson Mina. Jeez, I hate to go with shock on this. I'll say Rose and Deville aren't going to win. They're better if they chase. The Riot Squad without Ruby Riot's not going to hold anything. I'm off the list. Again, best way to do things sometimes by order of process elimination. And it makes my video longer. See, Dr. Tom would have all this done by now, but he set him a fifth rate show. Nia Jackson and Tamina holding those belts. Rose and Deville. Who's Sonya Deville? I don't want her to ever hold a title. After she beat my princess, Kimberly. Uh, so, Nia Jax, Tamina, or Banks, Bailey. Hmm. Don't have a snow. That's the same on both sides. That's. I'm going to predict. I'm just going to go chalk on this. Everyone's been talking about Sasha Banks and Bailey. It would be more fun, though, to have that heel tag team. They won our. They won our. They stood tall. Jeez. It's a little hard to go against the math, but. You know what? Sasha Banks and Bailey. Are the first, or the first modern era? No, they'll, they'll be the the second or third women's champion. They'll have the newest belts. Even though I still thought they should have brought up. Wait, what was that, Chispa? Hey, come over here. What was that? What was that? What was that? Yes, let's pick up a little bit more. Uh -oh. What's that? Do you think I'm a fifth rate show too? A sixth rate show? Oh. Cat just said I'm a sixth rate YouTuber. You slapped your tongue, gave me a little more credit than that. 
So I'll say Sasha Banks and Bailey go over. It's not going to be as big as a snooze as a Corbin Braun match. And then for the main event of the evening, we have Dan and again in the men's WWE Championship Elimination Chamber match, we have Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe versus Jeff Hardy versus Kofi Kingston. And last but not least, Randy Orton. This is going to be tough. Kofi Kingston already had this big moment in the sun. Uh -uh. AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan just seem like more money match for WrestleMania. Jeez, you know, besides Kofi Kingston, any one of these would make a great WWE champion. This is this, no matter what's going to be match of the night. Match of the night. <sighs> Daniel Bryan. Anytime there's a multi-person competition. So hard to go for the champion, even though the champion still has to lose. It can be done in so many different ways. It would be how Jeff's not winning the title. Take him off. He's Jeff Hardy's going to do something crazy though. Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe could. Randy Orton could feud with anyone. AJ Styles, the lone face in the match. Besides Jeff and Kofi. Oh, it's three faces and three heels. Shoot, I just saw that. Let's see here. Heel, face, face. Confused. Face. Face. But even things that a heel has to win. <sighs> Orton's so good, but does. Daniel Bryan. I'm going to go out on a real limb. Samoa Joe and AJ is a good feud. That could be go on forever. Daniel Bryan versus Orton. That could be good. Gee, I should have watched some other prediction videos. I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to say eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger, buy his toe. If he kills you, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, my mother told me to choose this one, and you are. I'm just going to go random, <laughs> near random selection and pick Samoa Joe. I still think that's going to be the match of the night. I have no idea about. Elimination ways. I don't know who's going to get eliminated first. The thing is, any of these competitors could really eliminate anyone at any time. So we'll see what happens. And those are my predictions. Again, I do apologize for Dr. Tom not being here. That's right, though. That hurt. Plebeian jobs. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be posting this video shortly. And everyone have a good day. And again, um, program notes, I do have to work on Sunday. So probably it will be before 8 o'clock. But just to be safe, 8 o'clock for sure, you'll see me live streaming. The event starts at 7. I'll probably miss the Baron Corbin match. 
I'll probably get in somewhere. I guess the Miz and Shane would be next. So yeah, you'll see me sometime, probably about eight o'clock ish. Well, at, at, well, definitely eight o'clock. It might be a little bit beforehand. So everyone have a good day. Um, what else is there? Again, please watch my my Daytona Beach Bum Fight League wrestling show. I'll be putting another one up in a couple more weeks when it comes time for Mardi Gras. Woohoo! Uh, other than that, everyone have a good day. And again, you can always feel free to like, share, comment.